5 o'clock, a cyber terrorist known as Brian Kill will spend 75 years behind bars. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Debbie Knox. And I'm Kayla Sullivan in for Bob Donaldson tonight. The suspect's real name is Buster Hernandez. He was previously convicted on numerous charges of trafficking child pornography and extortion. CBS 4's Jesse Wells is live now with details and reaction to the punishment. Jesse. Well, prosecutors had asked for a life sentence to be handed down, arguing earlier today for nearly seven hours that the suspect, Buster Hernandez, inflicted terror on more than 100 kids, young girls across the country, as well as their families and even entire school districts. In the end, the judge's 75-year sentence did fall short of that request. Now, Hernandez pleaded guilty in the case last year to several charges of using Facebook for a massive sextortion plot. Prosecutors claim Hernandez, who hid behind the online profile Brian Kill, weaponized the Internet by forcing underage girls to send him nude photos and videos, often using threats of violence if they refused. Today in federal court, a half dozen victims spoke about the terror they felt, how they considered suicide to escape the exploitation and said their emotional pain will last a lifetime. The sexually graphic and violent online posts even caused panic when Hernandez threatened mass violence at Plainfield and Danville High Schools, as well as at the shops of Perry Crossing in Plainfield. The online crimes took place for several years before Hernandez was caught during a raid of his home in Bakersfield, California back in 2017. And while he was convicted here in Indy, court records show it did not appear Hernandez ever actually stepped foot in Indiana during the time he made those threats. Uh, today, the defense had asked for a 30-year sentence in the case, and before being sentenced, Hernandez said he apologized to all the victims involved in the case. For now, reporting live downtown, Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Jesse, thank you. We'll bring you the news conference to you live here on CBS 4 when it happens. You can find out much more and have coverage on the case online at CBS4Indy.com. That includes reaction to the sentencing hearing and an interactive timeline detailing just how we got here. Look for this story on the front of our homepage.